Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. Right now, I know that I haven't been uploading the war videos for the season so far, but in my defense, the first two wars that I had to take part in were whilst I was on holiday. And uh, then I didn't have much to do in the war number three either. So I'm just going to upload the gameplay from the last two war videos. So th this is going to be war three and four. Also, for full disclosure, whilst I was on holiday, I really didn't want to do any war fights, but I kind of had to. Uh, and I did screw up because whilst I was being in an absolute rush uh, trying to get my fights done, I entered the fight with the wrong champion and I did die one time, which was kind of like very annoying and big deal and a stupid, stupid mistake. But again, um, it, it just really sucks. Um, it, it, it did. It felt so forced and bad to worry about war whilst I was on holiday. It's just something that I really, 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 really did not want to do. But unfortunately, it is what it is. Uh, that being said, let's start with war number four, which is the current war that is still happening. And it is against Swedish Alliance. So I'm going to be using Archangel, Null and Hercules. And then I'm going to show you guys the three fights I had in previous war so let's start up here i need to take part two against this mysterio here for that fight i'm going to be using hercules so i'm going to be boosting up uh you know as your standard rainbow 30 percent champion boost and then medium attack and medium health boost because those are significantly harder to acquire then just to be safe i'm going to put on the indestructible three boost because i do not want to screw up this one and uh, i am using like an unramped Hercules. So here we are, and against Mysterio, the plan is fairly straightforward. Just get in a few of my feats of Hercules power, feats of whatever, and uh, then make sure that I get to throw my special attack before Mysterio does in order to reset the strike counter. And I'm doing a fairly decent job. I got five feats of power i won't say feats of power i think it's feats of power and he has zero furies at this point as well he is at 33 percent health there here i actually kind of forgot that i could have just went in properly but uh, at the same time i get poisoned luckily Herc is somewhat poison resistant but that mysterious heavy attack is just so gnarly and quick anyway still a fairly quick straightforward fight nothing too much to stress here it is a rank for Herc and boosts at that point i already had some uh feats of Zeus? No. Power? Anyways, and here for this fight I could have used Null or I could have used Hercules, but since I already had three charges ramped up here, I decided to go with Hercules. Now, it is actually a slightly more annoying fight than it might seem because of Conduit. And iHulk is a Conduit defender, and uh, I decided to, you know, play somewhat cautiously, not to be too upset to give him a few Fury buffs here and there, and then, for most part, after I have done a bit of ramping up, just uh, let uh, him gain some Furies, because Ihalk is, after all, quite an easy champion to go up against. It is going to get spicy at one moment, which is admittedly going to be my own mistake. So, at this point, I have six Feats of Power, he has five Furies, but he's already halfway down. Now, hitting him at this point is kind of meaningless, but, you know, that's fine. Um, just kind of furthering the fight there. And I go in for another full combo. I'm going to drop my level 1, which is going to mean that once again, he's going to get his Incinerate or any other debuff, which again, ideally, I do want to wait out. Now, if I was playing this again, I would definitely just eat a bit more brute force damage and wait out those debuffs slightly more. But here is going to be where I will make a mistake. So at this point, we're still doing just fine. He, we can see that he has like pretty much no gamma there. And there I thought I was fine to go in when I still wasn't. So I went in too early because I thought that he's kind of like indestructible only for like a smaller frame. So whilst he was still regening, I should have just waited this one. As we can see, I thought I'm safe. I thought I'm making good time, but it just whiffed. And a tiny slither. Uh, so I do get hit, which costs me most of my health, but it's fine because he's almost done. And fight's over. So it went a bit spicier. Silly mistake that I should not be making in Alliance for, but we still survived, didn't lose attack bonus, and everything's fine. Now, this next fight 
it's kind of all about RNG, especially with his faced armor. I want to make sure that he doesn't get any armor ups, otherwise I will be in trouble. But uh, as always, when it comes to Archangel, for, you know, eight amazing fights, you get one stinker. And this fight definitely will kind of seem like a stinker. Now, I will be also throwing regular combos in this fight because I do not want him to get too many Furies and stuff. But uh, let's just pay attention here. So he still has no debuffs there. So I'm going to throw my level one in order to avoid giving him more Furies. That's fine. Come on, I want to drop that heavy attack. And nothing still. <laughs> He's still at 100% health, which is kind of annoying. But on the bright side, I'm at 100% health as well. And now he does have two power gain buffs and uh, the rest of his stuff going for him. So I'm going to throw my level one. And finally, I get one neurotoxin on. And now we can start kind of like doing the damage. So I drop another heavy attack here. Um, that's fine because he has four neuros. He doesn't gain any more furies. And he's basically dead at this point. As soon as I saw some of the neuros land, I knew the fight is safe. So it wasn't the best RNG, but, you know, we kind of stuck through it, and it's okay. Now, moving on, this fight is actually kind of cool, because Captain America Sam Wilson is a very, very tough placement on this node, because whenever you dex, then he gains his region, and then he goes unblockable, and it, it can just get out of hand very quickly. And also, Captain America Sam Wilson is one of those champions where he randomly will lock on you on defense, and then if you push him to level 2, you can get the raptures through blocked. So the kind of key of this fight is obviously to get rid of all of his armor ups all the time. Try not to trigger that buffet node. Don't push him to level two. And then the rest of the fight can go quite smoothly. It will look very smooth and kind of like quote unquote easy. But um, it's, uh, it is it is more risky fight than it appears to be here. But at this point, obviously, after I already threw my level one, we have the infection no eradicate how do you call this thing we have nulls thingy on him and he dies very quickly and then for the final fight in my war i actually used the energy refill just because i didn't want to reboost so hey there you go uh so i have used one of these tiny little energy refills and now i'm gonna go up against electro with archangel it should be fairly straightforward fight unfortunately i do not get the best rng again i have dropped two heavy attacks he has three bleeds but uh, I do specifically kind of like parry and then back off in order to try and get another poison on him. But we can see that he still only has like one euro, which is quite annoying to be honest. But even with one euro and some of those debuffs uh, and still the one euro basically. So <laughs> it's Archangel. What can you do? But it is a rank for Archangel. So even with one euro and stuff, uh, he kind of floated away fairly quickly. And that is it for my war, which we are currently winning. Uh, we did lose our first war of the season, which is the one that I also died in, which made it feel even worse, because one death less, and we would have won on time. Uh, and this was the previous war against uh, Matrix, and he only had three fights here, and uh, one of these three fights, you know, barely counted, and that's this one. So this is the Tigra on Aggression Prowess node, but I have rank for Human Torch now, and, well... I'm just not going to comment anything at all. You just, guys, check it out. So, three hits, a parry. Three hits. Nine hits. She powers things. And three more hits. So, that is how long? 11 seconds, 12 hits. That's Alliance Warfight. <laughs> that is Alliance Warfight. And now I'm going to move on. And we're going to do this same fight again. It was quite a cool fight, so I do not mind repeating it this time for you guys. And again, the idea is pretty much the same. Just get to your level 1 as quickly as possible, only using your double mediums or heavy attacks uh, in order to make sure that you get rid of all of the armor buffs that he has, so he can't auto-block anything. And now once we have, make sure we do not trigger buffet if possible. And yeah, just make sure we don't let him get to level 2, especially whilst he's locked on us. Um... Null is sick and tired attacker as well, so as long as I have three debuffs, he is heal blocked, even though I do have like max despair, and that would do the job as well. And now at this point, he's like 33% health, and we're just digging in him like nobody's business. Very nice new corruption, that's the word, corruption, 
um, applies again and we just quickly finish it off. So now it's perfect for dealing with Captain America Sam Wilson over there. And then the final fight I have here is against Namor, which is Buffet over time. He is a Condi defender and all that, but I have Meg Sentinel, rank 4, and we're absolutely going to nuke down that Namor because Omega Sentinel obviously is immune to nullify, so we don't care about Buffet nodes at all. And we selected our heal block pre-fight. We got a couple of heal blocks on. And he gets his conduit debuffs, but it doesn't matter anymore at all because of heal block. And it's sweet. We're just gonna finish a combo with light now. I have three of my debuffs. Sorry and level two and the job's pretty much done i'm just gonna drop a heavy here and he is deadish so very quick and straightforward fight that has been alliance war so far for me as i said very unfortunate death at the beginning of the season but you know stuff happens and uh, now i believe we will win this current war so new nation is going to be three wins to one loss in our record hopefully we can finish very confidently the remainder of the season so we are one third done of the season already because the rewards are buffed and uh, they look quite nice so let me know how is your wars going so far and i will check you guys later see ya Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about